Hey guys, so we are going to be doing sequence edgings today. So let's go ahead and get our stuff we need. So I'm going to be using black beads. Then I'm going to be using these. And then let's get our sequins. Look at these sequins. So I'm going to be using these ones. And then I'm going to be using these smaller ones right here. Just like that. And then the earring, right? So let's go ahead and cut the edges off. So my backing I use is vinyl. I get my vinyl from Walmart. I do get my vinyl from Walmart. The thread I use is size D beading thread. The size um, needle I use is size 10. So right now I'm tying, I'm gonna be tying three knots. Just like that. And then let's go ahead and get started. So right here, I'm gonna go ahead and go through the vinyl. just like this and then go ahead to hide the tail of it just like that and then right here I'm gonna go ahead and pick up one black bead one of the bigger sequins so the sequence I'm gonna show you you see the sequence? It has like a little cup on it. It looks like a little cup, like a little bowl. Right? And then if you put it this way, it looks like a little hat. I can't really tell, but. So right now we're gonna be picking it up through, so in other words, under the bowl. And then we're going to go ahead and pick up one of the smaller sequins. And then we're going to be picking up one of the balls, a little ball. And then let's go ahead and pick up a little sequins, a bigger one, and then a bead. And then we're going to go ahead and bring it all the way down to the bottom, just like this. So that's how it's going to look. So it's going to be a bead, big, big sequin, little sequin, big bead, little sequin, big sequin, and a small bead. Now we're going to go ahead and skip two rhinestones. One, two. Then we're going to go in through between the second and third. Then pull through. Pull through. And then like that, it's going to look like a little flower or like a little butterfly. It's so beautiful. Then go under the bead, right? Just like this. And then right here, pick up two seed beads and then go through, skip one rhinestone and go through the next pull your thread and then right here we're gonna go ahead and go under the bead just like this and then from here on out you're gonna go ahead and repeat the same process all the way through and I want to say thank you guys so much for subscribing and liking my videos if you guys are not yet subscribers don't forget to subscribe guys support show some love you can also share the video so yeah guys just pretty much repeating the same exact process all the way through all right i'll be back at the end 
Okay, so now we are at the last part. As you can see, I did skip the two right here, right? So we're right back at the beginning. So you see how we were just skipping one rhinestones? So we won't be able to do that right here. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna pick up the same things again. I'm gonna pick up the same um, pattern of sequence. Just like this. And then after you pick up your sequence, you're just gonna pick up the sequence the big ball not the bead at the end so right here what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna go ahead and go into the black bead just like that okay so this is the way I tie and then right here since we're right here right let's see so what I'm gonna go is I'm gonna go through the two rhinestones right here just like this a bit and then after I'm gonna go back through the same bead just like that and then right here what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna go ahead and tie a knot right here you see that thread that I went through so that is where I'm gonna be tying knots at. so I'm gonna do one I'm gonna do a double knot right there So we're gonna do a double knot. We're gonna pull it, Just pull it tight, guys. Make sure the knight, the knot is tied. Okay, and then what we're gonna go ahead and do is go through the sequence, right? Just like that. And then right here, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the thread, just like that. And there it is, guys. Look at that edges. The sequin edges. It's very beautiful. Very different. You don't see this as often, but when you see it, it is so beautiful. My husband said, it looks like a flower. Then later on, he's like, it looks like a butterfly. So, <laughs> I love it, though. So, this pair is completed very beautiful they're on finger to post so yeah so if you guys aren't yet subscribed please subscribe to my youtube channel guys and like i said share go ahead and share tag whoever you want to tag and yeah until again we will see you guys bye